Praise the Lord. Glory to God. You may be seated in the presence of our life-changing King Jesus Christ. We also welcome all of you, amen, through social media. God bless you for coming and sharing with us on our wild service tonight. Hallelujah. Worship on Wednesday, the word on Wednesday, whatever works for you. Yeah. Amen. Somebody say, I do need a word, though. Word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, we just give God glory, amen, for, for all things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, tonight we're going to come um, uh, from the Matthew's Gospel, the fifth chapter. Matthew 5 and 1. Hallelujah. Matthew 5 and 1, and say, in the King James Version reads as such, it says, And seeing the multitudes, he, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Hallelujah. We're going to pause there. Amen. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying we're going to use for a thought tonight i want you to keep this in your spirit uh if you're teachable you're reachable amen if you're teachable you're reachable it's the folk that you can't tell nothing to <laughs> come on somebody it's the folk that already know it all that you can't reach. Amen? But if you just stay humble and realize that you don't know it all, amen, and that somebody, yes, somebody else can teach you something, then you're reachable. God is able to reach you where you are. Amen? He's able to give you what you need right where you are. Why? Because you're teachable. Huh? You're willing to learn. That's what teachable is. I'm willing to learn. Amen. And when we come here, that's the main focus for us coming here is that we will learn what, what God's will and his way is for our life. And it's all in the word. Amen. Amen. We want to, we want to, we want to increase our faith. We got to hear this word. We got to understand this word. Amen. Uh, uh, but look at what he teaches them. Verse number two, three, I mean. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all know this as the Beatitudes in the Bible. The Beatitudes, this is how your attitude should be. That's what Beatitudes is, how your attitude should be. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they what shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Amen. Blessed are they which are, which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice. <laughs> And be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Amen. Hmm. That's a good lesson right there. Amen. Just, just plain simple. This is how you bless when you like this. This is how, this is what it means to be blessed, huh? You don't say nothing about money. Oh, come on, somebody. They didn't say nothing about how much stuff you got. Gold. See, but they said nothing about that. Hmm? Go with me to Jeremiah 17, 23. 
Jeremiah 17, verse number 23. Look what it says. But they obeyed not, neither inclined their ear, but made their neck stiff, that they might not hear nor receive instruction. See, people make their own self stiff neck. God don't make them stiff neck. We make our own self stiff neck. We're no stiff neck where well, I ain't trying to hear nothing. What, what they used to say back in the day, talk to the hand because the ears ain't listening. Where y'all at? Huh? Yeah, I ain't trying to hear it. I don't care what. what. Just don't, I won't, don't receive no instruction. I got it. Hmm? I know I, I, when we, you know, that's, that's, that's the condition most of us had when we were young. Y'all with me? We think we know more much of the teacher at school. They can't teach us nothing. Where y'all at? Mom and dad, they don't, they don't know nothing, man. Talking about that old 1960s stuff. Hmm? Ain't even listening. Oh, cause we think we know. We got it. Won't receive instruction. <laughs> Psalms 119 and 12. Let's look at that. Psalms 119. Let's go to Psalm 119. We're going to stay right there in Psalm 119 for a minute. Psalms 119. Verse number 12 says what? Verse number 12. Hmm. Y'all see that? Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy what? Statutes. Teach me thy statutes, thy judgment. Teach me how you do it. You know, teach me the right way. Verse 33. 119, 33. Same chapter. Same number. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto what? The end. Train up a child what in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not what depart from that. Meaning that what he won't forget it. Oh, he may go astray. He may go out and do some stones, but that what you put in his spirit is still there. Amen. And all God got to do is stir up the spirit, stir up the gift, and there it is. Get back right back on track. But if nothing is never there, that's nothing to stir up. Are y'all still with me? Huh? They got to first be in there. You got to first put it in before God can stir it up and bring it up at the right time. Amen. Uh, anybody ever just been in a situation in a, in a scripture, a spirit just come up in your spirit? You know? Man. Or a song or something. Just a song, you know. Just come up in your spirit to soothe your spirit. It was already in there. You had put it in there and hid it. Come on, somebody. You had already put it in there. Hmm? Hallelujah. Third, verse 64. 119 and 64. The earth, O oh Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Verse 108. Except I beseech thee the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. Teach me, O Lord. Say that. Say, teach me, O Lord. It's, it's important that we learn. Scripture says that all have heard, but all have not learned. Everybody go to the class. Everybody don't get A's. Come on, somebody. But it's the same teacher. It's the same material. Are y'all still with me? The class getting the same lesson. They all heard the same thing, but everybody didn't learn. Hmm? It's, it's, uh, anybody? Come on now. Anybody? Remember? Why you didn't learn? Not because you wouldn't have, didn't have the ability to. You weren't paying attention. Huh? You weren't listening. Hmm? There's a big difference between hearing and listening. You're right. Amen? 
But we know how to ignore people and looking dead at them, don't we? <laughs> Yo, you ain't hear nothing. You just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Ooh, wait. Somebody, used, I used to have it bad, but I'm, Lord is helping me. Amen. You're helping me. Amen. We, I mean, you know, we all got flaws. We stuff we got to work on. You know what I mean? Uh, I, can't, I, I, I can't listen to two or three people at one time. Some people can't. Some people can watch TV and listen to you talk at the same time. I can't do that, you know. I don't have that ability. You know, if I got to pay attention to you if you're talking to me to get what you said. Amen. Uh, amen. What else Psalm 86, 11 say? What did it say? Hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm You can't, you can't, you can't live what you don't know. Hmm? You can't keep what you don't understand. Right? So the first thing is what? Get an understanding. Proverbs 4 and 7 says, let's say wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. But in all thy getting, if you can be wise and have no understanding, and it don't help in the situation. Amen? Uh, we have to learn, and then we have to teach. Deuteronomy 4 and 10. We have to learn, then we have to teach. Hmm? It ain't, just, it ain't just for you to learn it, just to know it yourself. We also have to teach it to others. To our family, to our children, just to people on our job, you know. Anyway, just you know, we supposed to, you know, practice what we what preach or teach. And we put that in practice, and people can see your life. You can teach people without even saying anything to them. You don't believe that, do you? You can teach people just by walking right, living right, huh? That's how we teach our children about doing. They watch us. Don't think they don't. Especially when they're real little. They watch. They imitate you. They'll, they will imitate you. And we have to be careful with our children. Because we're teaching them 24-7. Just because you ain't sitting them down and opening up a book don't mean you ain't teaching them. Amen. They're learning your ways. Hmm. That's why little boys grow up and they be, man, he act just like his dad. Because he been watching him. Yeah. He been mimicking him. Huh? Oh, man, she just like her mama. Yeah. She been watching mama, following mama. Just see what he had. Mm. Deuteronomy 4. 10. <laughs> Deuteronomy 4 and 10. What does it say? It says... Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb, when the Lord God said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may what? Teach their children. Deuteronomy 6. 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thy eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. Hmm. Ooh. Huh? We're supposed to teach our, we, we're supposed to learn, and then we're supposed to teach. Teach our children. Amen. And, and to be honest with you, but, but, but teach them what? I mean, not, you know, we send them, them to school. 
to learn ABCs, one, two, threes, learn how to read, learn how to write. That's what the teachers, that's what the school system teaches. We can't expect the school system to teach them the Bible. Are y'all with me? Hmm? That ain't in the curriculum. It's up to us to teach them God's word. Amen? And that's our responsibility, to teach them God's word, to give them ethics from what God says, you know, how to treat people from what God says, because they don't teach that in school. Amen. But we, we the church, we do the best we can. But we really, you know, think of, if you think about it, the school get them what eight hours a day, and the church what we get them hour a week maybe. Y'all still with me? Y'all with me? Huh? They got them eight hours. We get them for maybe two hours a week. Maybe two hours a week. And the rest of that time, they're with, with, with mom and daddy. So who really to blame? <laughs> oh, you'll put it on the preacher in a minute, though. Oh, that church, man, they ain't teaching these kids nothing. Man, they ain't teaching these kids nothing down to the church. No, you both teach them at home. You the one got the most time with them. Oh, come on, somebody. We expect the Sunday, the Sunday school teachers or the teachers at school to do a miracle in one hour. And they done been in school eight hours for five days. Now, how you going to compete with that? Are y'all, huh? The church, we can't. But the church ain't supposed to do it all. It's supposed to start at home. And then spread it. Come on, somebody. Everything starts at home and then spreads abroad. Your child acting up at school, that's your problem, not the school. That's your fault. Come on, man. They brought that from the house. They brought that attitude from the home. You don't go out there and be mad at the teacher. No, you need to be mad at yourself. I hear more time all oh, night, but little bitty babies uh, like this, you know, at school clowning. Acting a monkey. Just doing all kind of stuff. Yeah, they're going to come on down a little bit. Oh, shoot. Okay. Huh? You know what I'm saying? There's something wrong with that. You know? When I was that side, man, my, no. I was already ready. They already know that I was going to be talking back to the teacher and all that. Y'all understand, I learned that from the house. I learned that from home, from, you know. Shut up when grown folk talking. Where y'all at? Be cool. Hmm? Yeah, yeah we, they, they were training, they were teaching us at home how to behave when you're out there in the world. Huh? What we tell our children when we go on somewhere? Don't get, don't, don't get out here and all like you, like you don't know how to act. Come on out, like you ain't got no home training. Where y'all at? Yeah. I don't think I won't get your butt. <laughs> don't think I won't get you. <laughs> yeah. Go in this store, don't you touch nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for nothing. Don't touch nothing. You tear it up, you got a bag. Huh? Teaching. That's teaching, though. That's teaching. Sure did. Right. Mm -hmm. You ain't getting nothing today, and that's all it is to it. So don't even ask. I wish you would ask. Fix your mouth to ask. Fix. Where y'all at? Oh, keep crying. Oh, you want to cry? I'm going to give you something. To <laughs> huh? You, oh, you want to cry? I'll give you something to cry about. Mm -hmm. And we do the same. We taught us and we taught our children the same stuff, right? 
the exact same thing because it worked. Ain't no sense of uh, uh, fixing if it ain't broke. The Bible says, spare the rod, spoil the child. When you see a bad kid, or just terrible, ain't no discipline in the house. I don't care what age they are, how size they are. Ain't no discipline in the house. They let them do anything. So they, when they get out of school, they just think they can do anything. Hmm? I hate, I, little kids, little bad kids get work my nerves. The bad kids, <laughs> sometimes I have to leave because I be, you know what I'm saying? I can't take it. I be like, wanna, oh, shoot. You hear what I'm saying? Just, just you know, grab them so fast. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, huh? Where y'all at? Some of y'all the same way. Y'all just a little bad kid. This just don't make no sense. You're too little to be that bad. Man, we were growing up, man. Ooh, we, they had the PTA meetings and all that stuff back then. I mean, you had to be on, man, you, man. They ain't play, man. You had to be on point, man. You don't want them teachers to tell your mama you did nothing. Right. Now the parents want to fight the teacher. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Help us, Lord. Help us grab that generation. Lord, have mercy. Because we knew how to act. Our folk taught us how to act, y'all, didn't they? Now, we might have did some devilment, what they say. <laughs> we got into some stuff, but we knew right from wrong, you know. Right, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, because we, we didn't want nothing to get back home. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was a thing, they didn't let it get back home. <sighs> it's over with then. Huh? Man, this is, man, it's just, it is sad. No, you're right. You get, I, I remember getting a whooping down the road. And before I got home, they done called. And I got a nothing when I got to the house. I was walking slow. Man, I was taking baby steps, but I knew I had it coming. You already knew. Man, mm. Man. boy, you know what I'm saying? The, the, to have somebody call you on your child, ooh, that make you hot. You be on fire. You know what I'm saying? Be like down the road embarrassing me. You ain't know, I know you know better. Oh, man, I'm the worst whoopings right there. Huh? Like you don't know how to act. Ooh -wee. That's what's happening. That's really what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. They ain't teaching them right from wrong. They ain't disciplining them. Like there's boundaries. There's some stuff you just can't do. You know. Lord help us. Let our children be teachable, God. Regardless of their environment, let them be teachable, Lord.
it takes a, it takes everybody. It takes the whole community, really. You know, you look at it like a triangle. You know, this, you know, if we look at it like a triangle, you know, you got it starts at home, right? And then it goes to the school, huh? Right? Then it comes back to what? To the community, and go back home, and that's the cycle. And, and we all have, we're supposed to be the cycle, man. We all have a responsibility in there at some point. You know, we were at home, at schools, and community. Don't miss nobody. We all have a responsibility to to teach the younger generation. You know, uh, like I said back in the day, you know, uh, anybody, any grown folk, grown person could get at you and tell you about yourself and correct you. But nowadays, you know, that's dangerous, you know. Uh, you know, you mess around and get cussed out by the child and the mom. Daddy, too, you know. That's sad, though, but back in the day, yeah, yeah the, you know, the, the older guys and the older ladies in the neighborhood, yeah, they would correct you on the spot. They ain't had to call your mama, they get with you. And that's important in the community that we have people that care enough to say, no, nah, don't be doing that. I'm going to tell your mama, that's enough right there, I'm going to tell you. Next time, I'm going to tell on you. you know, like, right. Huh? Ooh, we the, 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 this one is, well, boy, my, ooh, we. You better not be asking nobody for no money to my little kid. Ask them, ooh, no. <sighs> boy, you, you talking about a whooping. Ask some grown folk for money. Like we, like we po, we ain't got nothing. That was, that was, like we ain't got nothing. That was, <laughs> They were extra whooping. You know you ain't supposed to have money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lord help us. Amen. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lord help us. We come along. I mean, you know, times are really changing, you know. They really are. Times are changing. Done changed, man, done changed a whole lot. What'd you say, Brother John? <laughs> oh, boy. Ephesians 4. <laughs> yeah. Our children are going to act right. I don't care. We, you know, we can't control everybody cheering, but our children are going to act right. Okay? You're going to learn today. Because if you don't learn, if you don't learn at home, right. in school, in the community, prison going to teach you. That's who's going to teach you. That's who's going to end up teaching you. And they're going to teach you discipline. When you get there, oh, you ain't got no choice. You're going to obey. Hallelujah. Ephesians 4, verse 17. Hmm. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having the, understand, having the understanding darkening, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so, be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. It, it is basically what he said. He said you're doing all this stuff and you're saying you know Christ. No, you haven't not learned Christ. You might have heard of Christ, but you haven't learned Christ. Because when you learn Christ, you live for Christ. Come on, somebody. That's how you can tell when you learn because your lifestyle changed. When you're learning his way, your way changed. You get out your way, you get into his way and doing his will. Amen? Because it's his will 
or the wilderness. That's the, that's the only choice it is. It's his will or the wilderness. And so oftentimes we find ourselves in the wilderness because we go in our own way. And God has a way prepared already for us. And he wants to teach us that way. Jeremiah 3 and 12. <laughs> yeah. Jeremiah 3 and 12. I'm going to close with this. I ain't going to try to give it to all y'all in one night. Somebody said, praise the Lord, pastor, growing up. They said, pastor, growing up. <laughs> he ain't got to tell it all no more. <laughs> Good God Almighty, I'm going to say something. Amen. But Jeremiah, what? They said, go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return, thou black sliding Israel saith the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Next verse. Only acknowledge <laughs> thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 14. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you, one, take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. If you're teachable, come on, somebody, you're still reachable. Amen? Huh? And, and, and pastors that will give you what knowledge and what? Understand. Because that's what we need. We don't just need the knowledge. We need the knowledge and the understanding. Because if you don't understand it, then it's just book knowledge. You can quote scriptures, but do you, can you live the scriptures? Huh? We run around quoting them by heart. But are we living them? Hmm? Are we living them? Hmm? Teach me, O oh Lord, thy statutes. Teach me, O oh Lord, thy ways. That should, we should include that and start putting that in our prayer life. Start speaking that. Lord, teach me, Lord. I don't know. I don't know nothing, Lord. Teach me. Paul, Saul, Paul, Saul, Paul. He was an educated man, spoke seven languages. He was a Pharisee of Pharisees. He'd been taught since he was 10 years old. As a boy, they start teaching him at 10. And all that he learned, he said he counted it all dumb. All that stuff he had taught in the, been taught in the scriptures in the temple. He said when he met Jesus, he counted all that dumb. It mean nothing. Most of that stuff was wicked and wrong. Now he got to learn a new way. And he said, look, that stuff there, I was doing that, and that ain't nothing to that. Time to follow out to Christ. Get the mind of Christ. That's what Paul was seeking out, to want the mind of Christ. Amen. Like I said, to do it the way he do it. Amen. So effortlessly, effortlessly, effortless, effortlessly, that's it effortlessly. I can't talk. My get tongue tied. Certain words. At some point it ought to start getting easier to us to live for Christ. Amen. It should be getting easier over time to do the right thing. Because you keep you repeating and you and it becomes like second nature to you. Amen. Once you start doing a thing so long like on your job, once you've been on your job and you do it so long, 
you don't even think about it. You just do it. Amen. And you've been undone something and hadn't even thought about it. And be like, man, I've not already done that. You weren't even thinking about it because you just, you just do it so much. Second nature to you just, and that's how we ought to get with God's word. It's just, it's our second nature. We take on the nature of Christ, the nature of his, the way like him. And that's, that's why they called them Christians first at Antioch. They, the world called them Christians. They didn't call themselves Christians. They called them Christians. Why? Because they were doing what Christ did or what they heard Christ doing. That's what. They, amen. We are the salt of the earth. God is expecting us to teach people his ways. He's he, he giving that to us. As we learn, we're supposed to teach. You don't have to be no preacher. Yeah. Now we all have the ability to teach. Amen? So let's start teaching. Let's keep teaching. If you're already teaching, keep teaching. If you're not, let's start teaching. God's word, God's will, God's way. Amen? Because this show works. I'm a witness. God's way is better than your way or my way. Amen? Because he got a way already made. We just feeling and trying to figure out stuff. God, I already got it made. Look at it. I already got a plan for our life. Thank you, Lord. Father in heaven, we come at this time, God, thanking you yet for another opportunity to come together, God, and sit in your sanctuary around your word God and just be able to fellowship one with another with love in our hearts toward each other and knowing God that you brought us here for a purpose teach us oh Lord each and every time we come teach us your ways teach us your statutes teach us how you want us to do it not how it's been done before but God how you want it done now in this season hallelujah in 2023, how you want us to do it? Hallelujah. We're willing to learn and do a new thing, God, in a more excellent way. Teach us, O oh Lord, how to do that, what you do so well. Teach us how to be holy as ye are holy, righteous as you are righteous, God. Let it overflow upon our children our relatives, our friends. Let that teachable spirit, God, just flow all throughout everyone that we care about. Let them be teachable, God, that you may reach them where they are. That you could send somebody, God, you can send somebody right now. I, can de I decree in Jesus' name that they're becoming teachable and reachable and you're sending someone, God, to reach them right now. Someone that speaks their language, talk in their vernacular, that they would understand the words, hallelujah. Not the thuses and the thous that's in the Bible, God, but just the plain word that just tell them just exactly where they are and where they need to go. Do it, O oh Lord. Send your precious Holy Spirit. Send your angels, God, in the name of Jesus, to write that which is wrong. Mm. To, to, to correct God, to correct and to reestablish and to set a foot and to set, establish and to move forward, God, in your will and your way. We thank you, God, that you love us enough to keep teaching us and keep showing us, God, the right way to go. So we give you glory and we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. 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 Each one teach one. Ain't that what they used to say? Then we'll all be taught. Yep. Amen. And some stuff is not taught. They say some stuff is caught. Anybody ever heard that? You know, everything ain't taught in this. You can't learn everything in the classroom. Some stuff you just got to learn through life. You got to go through life. Amen. Or you got to learn it on the job. Amen. You go to college, they teach you one thing. When you get to 
the job where they done hired you, they gonna be they gonna tell you forget all that stuff they told you. <laughs> I had a job with they said, man, forget that stuff they told you. This how I want we we you gonna do it. This how we want you to do it. <laughs> huh? Now, now what that school did, now it, it ain't negating what you learned in college. What college did was prove to them that you're teachable. Oh, if somebody don't, come on, somebody ought to say it, amen to that. That degree you got told the job, oh, this person teachable. Same way with Christianity. I'm trying to leave y'all alone. Y'all, somebody ain't got it yet. Same way with Christianity. Learn on the job. Huh? Sure, I know I had to learn a lot quick. I ain't know nothing about being no pastor, no preacher. No. You know what I'm saying? Learn on the job. Sink or swim. <laughs> Throw you in the water, sink or swim. 